What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about gold bars versus coins, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs as well as the brand new limited edition can't stop stacking won't stop stacking t-shirt and hoodie any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated but today i want to talk about gold and this isn't a video that i would have made on my own i'm actually going to be responding to a question that i received in the comment section of one of my older videos, this is a video that I posted months and months and months ago, but the comment was left 22 hours ago, and it's coming from JW, and the question is, will gold coin be worth more than gold bars, or bars and coins just worth is gold spot price? Not talking about old coins, just today coins you can buy on JM Bullion or Atmex. Well, first and foremost, thank you so much for asking the question. I look forward to answering it throughout the course of the video. But really quick, if you or anybody else watching right now has a question for me, whether you're a new stacker and you just want to know some facts and information, maybe you're a longtime stacker and you just want to know my opinion, hypothetical question, and this or that question, head on down to the comments and ask away. I'd be more than happy to dedicate an entire video to you and answering your question. But moving forward... We can actually refer to silver and gold throughout the course of this video, but I'll primarily focus a little bit more on gold since that's what the question was geared towards. So right now, as I'm filming the video, the spot price of gold is $1,484, $1,484, and that's obviously subject to change. I'm sure by the time I finish filming and then edit, and then post the video, and then by the time you guys watch the video, I'm sure it'll be different. So head on down to the comments and let me know what's the current spot price of gold as you're watching, and don't forget to include the day and the time you're watching as well. But the answer to the question is, it depends on what gold you're getting. So for the sake of the video, I pulled up a gold Canadian maple leaf, one ounce, gold coin, and I'm going to be comparing it to a one ounce gold bar, which is a basic generic secondary market piece of gold. It's pretty much the cheapest one ounce pure gold bar you can find on one of these websites. So like I said before, the spot price of gold is $14.84. Now to get the cheaper secondary market gold bar, that would run you about $15.17 if you're going to be paying by check or wire. And in order to get a one ounce gold maple leaf with the current spot price, that would run you about fifteen twenty nine. So with today's prices, if you were going to get a government minted coin, it's going to run you a few dollars more, about 12 to maybe $15 more. If you were to get a basic, generic, secondary market gold bar, keep in mind it has a lower level of notoriety. It might not be as recognizable. It might be a gold bar that a potential buyer or a coin shop is unfamiliar with, which could potentially run you into some problems when you're going to sell, I guess. I mean... If you were to compare it to a Canadian maple leaf, everyone knows what that is. It has security features. It has an incredible level of notoriety. I believe it is the second most recognizable gold and silver coin on the planet behind the silver and gold American Eagle. So back to the question, talking about which one's going to be worth more. Since we're not talking about numismatics or collectible coins, we're just talking about government-minted coins in comparison to simple gold bars, 
Obviously, the coin is going to be worth a little bit more. It carries a little bit higher or heftier of a premium at today's spot price. So 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, who knows what in the world the spot price of gold is going to be by then. It might be pretty much exactly where it's at today. It might be $300 lower. It might be $800 higher. None of us know. You're always going to get some people out there who guarantee you that the spot price of silver or gold is going to be a very specific number by a very specific date. So if you are a new stacker, please pay them no mind. The only way you know what the spot price is going to be a week from now, a year from now, a decade from now is if you are a psychic, which none of us are. So pay them no mind. But if regardless of what spot price does years and years from now, the coin is going to be worth a little bit more. It carries a little bit heftier of a premium today, and when you go to sell it, you'll be able to sell it for a little bit higher of a premium. Most likely, some coin shops, they will buy silver and gold from you. They will help you convert your precious metals back into dollars, and some coin shops give you spot price. They'll buy it from you at spot. Some, you'll be able to sell it with you know a little bit of a premium. More reputable coin shops will pay a little bit more over spot for a coin, especially an uncirculated coin in good condition. So if it were kept in an airtight capsule, for example... It's going to be in better condition than maybe a one ounce gold bar that has some scratches on it or it's a little bit scuffed up or maybe has some, you know, I don't know, fingerprints or whatever. A coin is going to be worth a little bit more. A coin is currently worth a little bit more. It carries a little bit higher of a premium. And if and when the day comes where you want to sell the coin versus the bar, Odds are you're going to be able to get a little bit more for the coin for a variety of different reasons. It has a higher premium for a reason. It's because it has a higher level of notoriety. It's more trusted. It's more respected. Everyone knows what it is. Potentially higher in demand. So you're going to be able to get a little bit more for the coin as opposed to the bar. Also, not taking into consideration numismatics and collectible coins those are obviously going to go for quite a bit more in the future but the comment very specifically said not talking about that so hopefully that answered the question the best that i could once again if anybody else has any questions for me you're more than welcome to ask away in the comments and i'd be more than happy to dedicate an entire video to you and answering your question. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Just posted three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos, a hidden camera pawn shop integrity test, the can't stop stacking, won't stop stacking video, the mystery industry where I talked about an industry that's booming right now, not precious metal related, but money is being made there. And obviously, the brand new Keep Your Silver Cold video up on my second channel. Go check them out. The links will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs but we have the limited edition going away this week can't stop stacking won't stop stacking t-shirt and hoodie it's going to be removed from the store at the end of the week so if you've been wanting to get one and you haven't yet please move quickly any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated and i want you guys to head on down to the comments let me know your thoughts on gold Let's focus on one ounce increments of gold. Which would you prefer? Getting yourself a bar? Maybe you can save a few bucks? Or would you rather get a coin and pay a little bit higher of a premium? For that, 
higher level of notoriety, that higher level of trust and respect. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dress us smiling. Peace.